Elizabeth and her husband, Zechariah, both came from a long line of priests. Because they both loved God and obeyed His commandments, they were righteous in God's eyes. They desperately wanted a family, but Elizabeth was barren and could not have children. As they grew older and older, their dream of having a child seemed impossible. One day, when Zechariah's group of priests were serving at the temple, he was chosen to burn incense in the temple. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared next to the altar of incense. Fear fell upon Zechariah, but the angel of the Lord told him not to be afraid. The angel then gave Zechariah fantastic news, saying, Your prayers have been heard. Elizabeth will give you a son, and you will name him John. The angel told Zechariah that people would rejoice at the birth of his son, and he would be great in the eyes of the Lord. Zechariah wanted to believe what the angel had said, but he and his wife were so old. Zechariah asked the angel, How could this be true? In a voice like thunder, the angel replied, I am Gabriel. I stand before God himself. The Lord has sent me to give you this good news. The angel Gabriel told Zechariah that because of his unbelief, he would not be able to speak until after the child was born. Zechariah left the temple and went home, unable to tell anyone of the miraculous event that had taken place. Some time later, just as the angel Gabriel said, Elizabeth became pregnant. During the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to visit one of her relatives, a young woman named Mary. The angel Gabriel told Mary, a virgin engaged to be married, that she had found favor with the Lord. The angel Gabriel gave Mary more good news, saying, You will give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will sit on King David's throne and be the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Mary was going to give birth to the Messiah. After the angel Gabriel's proclamation, Mary quickly set off to visit Elizabeth and Zechariah, who lived in the hill country of Judea. When Mary arrived and spoke a greeting to Elizabeth, Elizabeth's baby leaped in her womb. Filled with the Holy Spirit, Elizabeth prophesied over Mary, saying, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Mary responded to Elizabeth by breaking into a song of praise and prophecy. Mary's song declared the mighty love and power of God. She praised His works, mercy, and faithfulness to His people. She sang, from now on, all generations will call me blessed, for he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Elizabeth gave birth to a healthy son. After eight days, friends and family gathered. They were all convinced that the baby would be named Zechariah after his father. But Zechariah, who was still unable to speak, wrote on a chalkboard, his name is John. Instantly, Zechariah regained his voice. Their son would become known as John the Baptist, and he would prepare his generation for the coming of the Messiah, Jesus. Jesus.